from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. Beanstalk is a charity that solves illiteracy problems in the UK. It's shaming to admit that around 70,000 children leave elementary school each year unable to read at the expected levels. That's 13% of all children born in the UK each year. Around 60% of the prison population are unable to function properly with literacy. So it was our founder, an amazing lady, Susan Belgrave, who saw this correlation and wanted to do something about it. She gathered seven friends around her kitchen table and they devised an excellent plan. They were going to go into schools twice a week for an hour and a half each time. But the magical touch was that they would see children on a one-to-one -one basis. In that time, they'd hoped to develop a love of reading, a love of stories, and a love of books with the children. So they'd read with them, they'd play games with them to develop their self-confidence and their language skills, and they'd have a really fun time with stories and reading. That's how we still work today. However, we've got about 2,500 volunteers who solve the literacy problems of those 70,000 children who leave school each year unable to read well. The volunteers are the lifeblood of my organisation. They're extremely dedicated and conscientious and are fantastic role models. A head teacher, Jared Brading, said the volunteers are the secret weapon in his school to raising standards. In a London school called St Mary's, before our volunteers arrived, 51% of the children were reaching the expected reading age of an 11-year-old. After one year of our volunteers being there, 91% of the children reached the correct level. This year, 100% of the children did. Not only do our volunteers have an impact on literacy, but you might imagine that also other subjects benefit. Geography, science and maths. The teachers put this down to a greater awareness of how to use language and better self-confidence amongst the children. So Beanstalk is a very simple, effective way to solve some of the literacy problems in the UK. The Evening Standard embraced our stories. They called this Get London Reading. The Evening Standard has a distribution of about 600,000 copies of its paper every night in London. So it reached the London population. The Evening Standard campaign enabled us to reach out to many high-profile individuals. The Duchess of Cornwall went to read a story in one of our schools. She then became our patron. David Cameron, a father, who really knows the importance of reading to his children. Even as a Prime Minister, he drops his duties to try and read with his children every night. We're now working in a coalition of 11 other partners. This just would not have happened without the support of the Evening Standard and the Get London Reading campaign. We've got really ambitious plans. So we want all children to be reading well by 2025. We're working with Save the Children on a campaign called Born to Read. We're a key member of a UK-funded project called Elinet. This brings together 80 organisations across Europe to share good practice. We also want to be a one-stop shop for literacy. In this way, the Beanstalk story will continue to grow and succeed. This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.